Hi guys, I'm Lens with another informative video. This is a solar charge controller. In every solar panel system, a solar charge controller is needed. There are two types of solar charge controller. We have PWM and also MPPT. Yeah, and I would say that there are two types and I'm gonna let you know the different types I don't have the MPPT but I'll be obtaining one soon for myself as I find some benefits with that type this is a uh, PWM and I just want to let you know that different solar charge controller you'll find will perform differently also it goes with the different temperature as well with the p w m the pv array and battery voltage should should match so uh, the pv array and battery voltage should match meaning if you are using a solar controller that is 12 volt, your battery should be 12 volt battery as well. With the MPPT, the PV array voltage can be higher than battery voltage, which is an advantage, yeah? I would say that this other controller is recommended for small system setup uh, it is recommended for use in small system setup where mptt benefits are minimal yeah so a controller like this in which i'm gonna use this with a system of 200 watts uh, i would upgrade after with a mppt and probably use this with a smaller system setup because there are benefits that I can be getting from the MPTT. I wouldn't say that, you know, uh, the MPTT is better. In most cases, it is. Yeah. Uh, it is best to use the MPTT for at least 150 watts and higher to take advantage of uh, its benefits yeah so just talking about this right it is very important to know which solar charge controller you will need when you are going to set up and i'm going to get down more into details as to which will be best yeah pwm charge controller is a good local solution for small system setup only and this information is very important when solar cell temperature is let's say moderate to high between 45 degrees celsius and 75 uh, the pwm system will work effective around that temperature so it also goes with the temperature as well so if it happens that in your country that mainly the temperature is around 45 or around 50 it will be best to use one of these solar charge controller as it works best between that temperature so we are going to talk about the mptt controller yeah the array voltage should be substantially higher than the battery voltage and this is a plus yes 
it is the best choice for a higher power system. Yes, it is the best. It is the best. And, and I'm going to tell you why it is the best. Yeah. The reason for this is that the MPTT harvest is substantially more power when the solar cell temperature is low below 45 degrees or very high above 75 degrees so here we can see just just think about it yeah here we can see that if it happens that the temperature is very low we can be generating a lot of power if it is very high above 75 uh, degrees we can be generating uh, a lot of power i i haven't really looked up the reason as to how it performed between 45 degrees and 75 i just hope that this will be something that somebody will comment down below and let me know or probably i would have to do some further research on it right but this is something i'm saying that the mptt it perform effective below 45 celsius and above 75 celsius yeah and i just want to say that the pwm charge controller which i currently have in my hand this perform effective in a temperature around moderate to high which is between 45 degrees and 75 so if your country normally around that temperature this will be the best solar charge controller for you as you know um, different countries would have different temperature but for me i would be upgrading soon there are a lot of these solar charge controller which is cheap reasonable you can get them and you can buy them but if you are looking to do a, a big setup depending upon what you want to do i recommend you go for the mptt which will give you more benefits more out of your solar panel system and though it is more expensive it will give you what you so desire yeah but if you're looking for a small system setup the solar charge controller is the best option and it is cheap you can get it as low as 12 us from china or from the usa so i'll be talking more about these things and what you can do you can subscribe to my channel and let me know what's happening let me know your experience and let me know what's cooking on the top of your roof with your panels yeah so i just want you guys to subscribe to my channel i just decided to share this video and let you guys know what's going on so yeah i'm lens and i'm out oh, yeah.